Hey you guys! So today we are looking at this, which is the Predator 2 Ultimate Guardian Predator um, from Necker. Uh, the box lid's not down quite right, but never mind. Um, on the back, Guardian Predator, as the only member of the Lost Tribe to have served as a Temple Guard, Guardian skills are much more similar to a soldier than a hunter. After serving some time protecting the clan leader, he sought to apply his unique methods to trophy hunting. He was chosen by Greyback himself for his experience with high-powered artillery and explosives. Guardian is the very definition of the big gun among the fellow hunters. Often using his array of ballistics to quickly create new paths or clear an area of potential threats. Because of this Specialities, he was rarely tasked with taking out the preliminary, primary targets. Primary, yeah. <laughs> After all, in order to acquire a trophy, there needs to be something left. Limitations set on his role amongst the Lost Tribe would eventually cause Guardian to leave for solo missions during that time. He would learn to master his devastating arsenal, seeking the most dangerous xenomorph hunt in the universe with his potentially finally proven Guardian's new path would earn him the coveted Yatja status of Elite Hunter. And as you can see on the front there he's fighting, well it's an alien queen with wings so it's the one, it's the Necker figure isn't it, it's the, it's the Kenner um, Predator, uh, sorry the Kenner alien from all those years ago if you remember the Kenner toy line. So that's, that's kind of cool. So I presume at some point, let's show you an extreme close-up, at some point they may make a figure of that. Because they have the Queen, which should mean sticking some wings on her. Would be interesting. Yeah. So yeah, as you can see, nice artwork on the front there of the Guardian, with some Xenomorphs chasing him. On the inside there is a nice picture of him using his ballistics. There he is on this side, looking all predatory and mean and nasty. Uh, we have that on the side there, 30th anniversary, we have 30th anniversary on that side for Ultimate Guardian Predator. Hmm, no stickers. There are the cut barcodes and things underneath, 20th Century Fox and everybody, NECA real toys. Yes. So, as I said earlier, the um, tag on the top there isn't down right, so it is the usual circular uh, tag on there. There we go. That out. It's actually the cardboard inside that's getting in the way. Slide that out of there. It's not been, the top bit there's not been folded right. There we go. Anyway, I don't need to fold it right. So, hmm. so he's held in with the newer cable tie system. There is two trays, so there is weapons and things underneath there. Oh. Uh, important check, he has NAS. Um, you trust me, go watch the one of my other videos. I forget which one it is now, but it's it, there is there is an ass missing. Yeah. It's got a lot of extras and the, the packaging is slightly different, so yeah. Anyway, the great thing about these is I can cut these ties. Like that. Is there any holding his feet down? Nope. Nothing holding his head on? Nope. Oh, let me do it the proper way. Where's the one holding his wrist on? I didn't notice that. But not on the other wrist. Excellent. Or maybe there was. I've broken it. Right. Come on. Boy, his feet do not want to come out. Give me a sec. There we go. Alright. Get rid of all those down there. Just manoeuvre that out of the way for a second. Uh, some bits have fallen off the back of him. There we go. Right. So while I've got it in my hand, here is the other pred head, which is a very nice. More of a brown this time. The dreadlocks are very soft. Sometimes they're a bit stiff, but these are nice and soft. Yeah. Another extreme close up, there we go. 
He is one ugly, um, yeah. Hmm, right, so that bit has fallen off the back there and now it's fallen on the floor. And as usual, it has fallen up oh, there. It is. I've also knocked the screen thing off of there. Right. Now remember these are necker figures, so you've got to be gentle with the joints. First out of the box, because we don't want to break them. There we go. Some more on that. Right. Oh, pretty good stander. There we go. Some of it's weird. Some of these you, you put them out and they're just instantly and they'll stand. Um, my Alpha Predator has for the 14th time thrown himself, he even has a stand and he's thrown himself off the top shelf because my Predators are stood on a high shelf because I think they just look good up there. But he's thrown himself on the floor for the 14th time. So he may be going in the naughty box. And it's close up of the helmet, which is a very nice. It does look very much like the prototype helmet. You know, this bit. I presume you've all seen the prototype helmet. Yeah. Bodywork there. That always looks like it should be. Ah, oh, that's why, right, because that should be a bit further down. Well, we'll work with that. It's caught around. Is it attached there? No, there we go. Yep. There's a little peg there. You can see it. And it's there. That's better. Now it's covering the bits. It should be covering. Yep, yeah, the legs. Usual hole for the disc. It's nice they've painted the knee joints this time. Some they miss, some they don't. Usual stuff underneath the feet, 20th Century Fox and all that. Yeah. Right, so this is a very so interest. The back of the head with the helmet on is a lot redder than this head. Mm. Right, so that plugs on there there is because these are the same bodies for a lot of them the armor and that so you get an odd hole here and now and you're like well there's nothing to plug into that but yeah it's because one of the previous ones had a hole there so it has i wish they would put is there any kind of yeah, i wish they give you kind of an instructions for what the guns and things are Because we've got this, which is pretty big, and I'm presuming from the back of the box it goes on his arm. But is it supposed to go over that, or am I supposed to unplug this? It looks to be a joint there. Let me have a look. Right, there is a peg on the inside of there as well. So I'm, can you see it? So I'm presuming that the plan is you want to plug his arm. Let's see if I can. Oh, no, I don't want to pull it off, but I'm presuming, and now I've lost the. There it is. Okay, I'm presuming because that has a, a maneuverability there, so I'm presuming that that comes off and then you plug the arm in. So I'll do that. Um, you know, warm it with a hairdryer some other time and swap it over. But yeah, he has that which I presume is some kind of blaster. Um, there is a flame effect which I think I probably. Let's move some of this. The same flame effect that we've seen on. Whoops, there we go, firing bits of it all over the place. Um, 
that doesn't fit in there, so there must be another part to the end of this. Right, that's a plug. That's got that on the end of it. Looks like a wrist cover. That's the other side of there. So that'll go in there. Right, but that end and that look very different. Let me have a look on the. That's all of it. Oh, duh. <laughs> it's alright, my bad. Because there was the second tray. And there was a second tray, wasn't there? Which I put on the floor. Out of the way. So that's that one. Which fits ah, in there like that. Wow. So if you can get that arm off of there, it looks like that fits on there. That's going to be a Badass. Piece of weaponry. <laughs> yeah, that's going to scotch his um, elbow. I say, you can see there's a peg in there. So I'm presuming you do pull that arm off. Which, with Necker figures, <laughs> you don't like to do it randomly. They do it by themselves usually. That is the spear folded in. Nothing comes out of that. And we'll just get the the longer version, which strangely enough looks exactly the same. I can't find my scissors. Roll it down. And there we go. That is going to be a pain to get back in there if I need to put it back in there. There is this the full spear, which I think is pretty much the same as the. Um, all the predators just painted a slightly different colour. Yeah. So that's the uncollapsed version. Hmm. So there's that, which is obviously a folded down version of the. Oh, those bits fall off all the time. Once you've knocked that off, it's going to come off forever. I'm kind of weirded with that because I presume it's. For there, maybe there is another bit like that one. Yeah, that fits better. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that one on. <laughs> so, yeah, this goes on the back there. So, that's like oh, that's nice. That's the folded up, I presume, the folded up version of that carries on his back. We have the closed disc. It's the same disc as every other one has. The open disc, which is the same one that everyone has. Um, what else do we have? A little, oops, a bit which we've already shown you. There is, let's look at the hands. You have a spear holding hand, an open and two of those, one for either side. <laughs> yeah, so that's, you know, you're getting the same stuff that you normally get in these. There is also, can I get them out of the box, two little, there we go, that got it out of the box, two little like rocket things. Hmm. I don't really do wish Neko would put some instructions in. So yeah, we do have that which is the usual for the end of there. So yeah, the usual kind of stuff. So let's quickly, because that bit's falling off again and I'm going to ignore it. That bit's falling off again. Do the articulation, the obvious usual articulation for the head, which is a bit eh, because there's too much stuff around it. This is rubber, so it does move slightly out of the way, and it has the usual articulation under there. The elbows are the usual double as well, so you get a nice amount of bend out of them. I say that, and there's tilt as well. 
Um, that'd be the same that side. There is swivel there, kind of forward and backward, not a lot of crunch, but anyway, there is plenty there. The legs are a little stiff, out that way, down, slightly forward, usual back. I say don't want to rag on them too much because it's a necker figure. And oh, kind of to there, not too bad. Yeah. Oh, ankles, there is no pivot there, and there is usual swivel in the bottom of the foot. Yeah, that is nice. So, let's just straighten up his outfit a little bit. That's going to bounce back because it is on the strings of rubber. The helmet's got a really interesting pattern painted on it, I have to say. Hmm. So he stands at a ple pleasant 20 centimetres or just a little bit under 8 inches and looks pretty cool with some other figures from his clan. Now here is the interesting thing. Um, you've watched this video to this point, hopefully. Um, this figure came from AliExpress. Um, I didn't want to mention it at the beginning of the video because I get the feeling, and I won't mention it in the title above, because I get the feeling that there are a lot of you out there that instantly see the word KO, knockoff, bootleg, clone, whatever I use, and don't watch it. So I wanted you to actually watch one of these videos for the figure. Um, this, like I say, it's come from AliExpress. I really, really do not think that these figures are, are knockoffs or anything like that. I just think they get released earlier over there. I just think that's what all it is. Because you got to admit, this is not a bad figure. It's sturdy enough. It looks pretty cool. The paint apps are great. Maybe that bit's a bit of a wrong colour. But that could just be that that was painted on Wednesday, that was painted on Thursday. You've got to think these things are built sort of separately from each other, yeah? I mean, all this has to be painted by somebody, doesn't it? So, you know. But yeah, there you go. It came from AliExpress. Um... And it's the only and easiest and cheapest way for me in the UK to get these. Because I, I can get them, but they are expensive. So yeah, that is that is the little secret of this video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. The blades are the usual thing, they are a little bit bent, but I will warm them up with a hairdryer. I will warm up that and see if I can get it off and I'll put it in the comments whether I got that bit off or not. It must come off there. I think. That's logically where it will come off for that to fit. But yeah, I think that is a really, really nice looking figure. And I hope you've watched the video this far and I hope you're not mad at me for not telling you right at the beginning that this was a KO, as you all want to call it. It's an action figure and it's a pretty cool one. So thanks guys. Um, if you are new here and you have enjoyed this video, please hit the likes, the shares and the subscribe down there at the bottom. It is a great help. Uh, also hit the like button, that is also a big help. 